Hello, Gambians. I am Omar Ahmad Jallo, commonly called OJ Jallo. This coming Friday on the 28th of August 9, 2020, we will be paying tribute to our late father of the nation and founding father of the Gambian nation. That is Sir Dauda Kereba Jawara, because this will mark the fourth anniversary of his passing away on the 28th of August, 2019. Sir Dauda was one of the greatest sons of the Gambia as he sacrificed his job as one of the few Gambians at that time who was heading a department for the interest of the Gambia and the people of this country. And he proved to the British people that they were wrong by saying that the Gambia cannot be an independent and sovereign state of its own because of our size and our lack of resources. When we gave independence after Saddam stood his ground to make sure Gambia becomes independent, in a very short time, Gambia was made by Sadauda to be the safe haven of all West African citizens who ran away from despotism and dictatorship and come to stay in this country. Sadauda was the, one of the most humble, tolerant, and a person who respects people's beliefs, rights, and opinions. That is why he promoted and respected human rights and rule of law until the Human and People's Rights Commission headquarters has to be made in the Gambia. He was the one who believed in the protection, upholding, and promotion of human dignity through the respect of human rights, rule of law, and the sanctity of life. And he lived by it and worked by it. He developed the economy of this country and Gambia became the breadbasket and the supermarket of West Africa. He developed agriculture, particularly groundnuts, cotton, rice, and fisheries, so that most of our surrounding countries like Senegal, Guinea, Mali, and Guinea-Bissau, their farmers come and live with our farmers to be their strange farmers. He developed tourism until tourism became one of the outstanding economic development sector of this country. The cross-border trade, because we were the supermarket of the West Coast, became one of the biggest foreign exchange honor for our country. And of course, all the palestinians presently in this country were built and made possible by Sadaw Rekereba Jaira until the World Bank and the IMF. In all the English-speaking countries in West Africa only allowed Gambia to revalue, not devalue, but revalue its currency and make it an international conver convertible currency. The man was also a man of wisdom because when he made the declaration of the Banjo Declaration on the 18th of February, 1977, for the protection of the flora and the fauna, if the world has listened to him, today we will not be seeing the global warming and the destruction and catastrophe that is taking place in the world environment. That is why Sadawda has been and will ever be one of the most respected and one of the most outstanding leaders, not only of West Africa, but the world over, because he promoted human rights, peace, and tolerance, not only for Africa, not only for Gambia, but for the world at large. Today, we are not only paying tribute to him, we are celebrating his life as the first premier of the Gambia, the first prime minister of the Gambia, and the first president of the Gambia, and the man who promoted internationally the image of the Gambia 
on the World Forum, whereby our foreign service, our foreign policy was so successful that Gambians don't need visas to go to Norway, Denmark, Sweden, Britain, or many other countries in the world, thanks to Sir Dauda because of his wisdom and his co uh, cooperation and his wisdom to make sure he respects other countries' liberty, other countries' integrity and sovereignty and independence. And Saadada was made one of the outstanding leaders of Africa by the UN and by the Commonwealth. Today, we are proud to have had Saadada as our prime minister, our premier, and our president, and as the founding father of this country. We owe it to you, Saadada. We'll pray for you, Saadada. And I promise you that we will continue to live by your dictates, by your policies, and by what you taught us to respect people's opinions, people's beliefs, and to respect human rights, rule of law, and make sure democracy becomes the foundation of peace, prosperity, and development of the Gambian nation. We thank you, Sir Dauda, and pray that God make, takes you in the highest genre of Firdaus. Thank you very much. And I'm so I'm using this occasion to pay tribute also to Lady Chile Jawara and all your family, both your close family, your children, your grandchildren, and your extended family in the Gambia. And let all the Gambians, I appeal to all Gambians to pray for Sadauda on this day, for him to have his soul rest in perfect peace where today he is. I'm, I'm so God has, has paid him for the good jobs that he did for the Gambian people and for the human race throughout the world. I thank you all very much.